Hello, everyone. Clay Groves here. Thanks for listening. This episode was recorded live and live streamed on Facebook. You'll hear me mention people as they join the live stream. Feel free to head over to Facebook to watch us eat these wonderfully terrible foods. If you are not already a member of our Facebook group, get there. That's where the action is. Just search for the Fish Nerds Podcast group and request membership. If you are food sensitive, no, not food allergic, but sensitive, but that means like adverse to hearing food being eaten, you're going to want to skip this episode. But if you are ready for a food adventure and don't mind hearing people giggling, gasping, and gagging while eating, this is the show for you. Uh, Enjoy, and please forgive some sound quality. We were experimenting with different microphone usage, but uh, hey, have a great Thanksgiving, and we'll talk soon. Thanks. Welcome to the Fish Nerds. It's always a celebration of fish, fishing, and eating fish that's always interesting, usually funny, and mostly true. I'm Michael Wolf of the North American Native Fishes Association, and here are the nerds. I'm Clay Groves. I'm Rich Collins. All right, and first of all, <laughs> Vinny, that's welcome, exciting. Welcome, welcome to the show. Uh, who are you, Rich? Who are you? Who am I? I are am. You, are you on the Fisherman Podcast? I am a lesser nerd. I'm uh, probably more of a fisherman, but just kind of into some of this stuff. So the nerd part's intriguing, but I kind of do more of the fishing and, and eating and, and stuff like that. So I don't know what I am, but I'm the fly fishing correspondent because that's mostly what I do. So yeah, and, and I'm you're the snob here to kind of bring everything <laughs> back. So I, I only do fresh canned um, sushi styles. <laughs> and you're this year you're going to be. Uh, Teaching me to fly. I, fish. I am going to try to teach Clay to fly fish. Yeah, it's yeah. been tried. It's been tried. Too. And then Vinny, who are you? I'm Vinny. I'm friends with Clay and trying to get into the fish nerd guide service side of it. Once you get licensed, right? Once I get licensed, hopefully yeah. in February. I was going to do that too, but um, we should take the test together. Can yeah. we be a team? Yeah. yeah. You guys can study together. We can do the whole thing. And I, I should say. Um, Well, if I can figure fly fishing, I can make money in the summertime. That's where the big money business is. (laughs) Big money. Big money. All right. So anyway, anything is fair game. It's a good bet that one of us will die of botulism after tonight's show. Tonight, we're recording our Thanksgiving special. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. We're we're actually two weeks out, but this is actually going to come out Thanksgiving week. And we thought, what better way to celebrate (laughs) Thanksgiving than to eat uh, eat some canned fishes, right? A lot of canned fishes. So... So, um, around here, I'm in Lily White, North Conway, there's not much choice. I went to the store <laughs> and I was able to get uh, some Cento rolled anchovies and some Bar- Harbor all-natural smoked wild kippers, um, which are probably good. Probably very good. And I said that wrong. How do you say that? Kippers? No. Bahaba. Oh, oh, oh. And then, uh, and then beech-lipped fish steaks. And then what did you get? Oh, so, all right. I started out very simply. Um, I wanted to get something good because I didn't really want to, like, have a gross-out contest. So I went to Trader Joe's. Believe it or not, Trader Joe's has a boatload of yummy, um, well, fish in a can. I don't know how yummy it is. Mm. Lightly smoked sardines and olive oil. Very simple. Um, sardines and harissa. For some reason, they like to put sardines in hot sauce, which wouldn't find out why. It's from masking. <laughs> that's what I'm no. afraid of. But instead no. of calling it yeah, hot sauce, it's harissa because that's Fancy. fancier. Um, Charge extra buck for that. And some smoked trout, skinless, farm raised. Looks delicious. Product of Germany. Uh, boneless, skinless mackerel. Sounds good. We've got smoked herring, kippers, and canola oil, and juices. Very important to have juices. Um, but these are all pretty standard, sardines and olive oil. I wanted to get something a little funkier, so I took a trip over to Lowe's Oriental Market in Portsmouth. It's, um, it's an Oriental Market in Portsmouth. It's about as crazy as we can get, but found such things as roast eel black pepper. I'm excited about that. It might be good. Yeah. Um, roast fish. What kind of fish? Well, I actually looked it up. It's black scraper. <laughs> Which is a very pretty, looks like a reef fish purple, not black, but mm-hmm. whatever. Are they sustainable? 
Yeah, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Fried mackerel and chili sauce. Mm. Um, Malaysia. I did not get rolled anchovies. I got some good old flat anchovies. What's the difference? Right. We're going to find out. No, I did. We're going to find out. Hey, Dave Kellum's with us. Hey. Dave, you could be part of this. <laughs> Just get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Clay brought along some chicken of the sea sardines uh-huh. to be mainstream. Uh, we're stuck in North Conway shopping. Um, this is mostly for visuals. It's a crab and a beer, and it's all exciting because that's what it is. <laughs> What's it called? Crab and a beer. I don't know. Saigon. Saigon. Special crab chips. Mmm. 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 And then we got some uh, minced and spices. We've got minced prawns and minced crab and spice. Not really sure what you do with that, but it's there. And then on to the good stuff. This is canned mackerel pike. To my knowledge, there's no such thing, but it's canned mackerel pike. Get a good look at that, huh? Mackerel pike. Delicious. All right. And we got with us now Phil Belcher's watching and Dave Kellum. So two people Ooh. who should be eating terrible food with us. Boiled mackerel. Oh, when that you That one say it. scares me and it's slow. <laughs> I don't know don't what do parts. <laughs> but boiled mackerel is a good source of DHA and EPA. And I thought EPA was an environmental protection agency, but it's a good source of EPA. Mm. <laughs> I didn't have my EPA today. <laughs> so, oh. California squid, product of the Philippines. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> No idea why they're pink, and it is in natural ink, so I don't know. If oh, it's packed in ink? Natural ink. Oh. It doesn't even say squid ink, though. It just says ink. Okay. Yeah, yeah that's fun. Awesome. And then this one's cute just because it's the three lady cooks. Sounds mm-hmm. cute. It's uh, some kind of fish and tomatoes. It looks like mackerel. Uh, it's all mackerel to it's me. It's all mackerel to mm-hmm. me. And then one last because, you know, prawn crackers. Okay. It's got a prawn on it. It's going to take more bourbon for this. Yeah. So All everything's right. loaded with MSG. That's the best Excellent. part. Excellent. Maybe not the Trader Joe's stuff, but... All right. All right. So, you guys, we're going to have a round one here of our tasting. And here's the question. Do you want to start off uh, North Conway style or Corsmith style? We'd start easy with the... Yeah. Right. Let's ease into this. Let's ease in. There's a lot of stuff here. We're, I don't yeah. think we're going to taste them. I don't today. think we can. Uh, so let's no. ease in. I think we start with a nice main... Oh, some good... Kippers from Bar Harbor. Right? And so let's see. Omega-3. Yeah. Naturally delicious protein source. Wood smoked. So that's in a BPA-free container. So I'm going to guess these weren't such as the squid, $1.29. No, these are like three bucks. Oh, yeah, that's it. So what's interesting is all these fish are generally widely available, but they stuff them in tins and mm. boil them up, and I don't know why. Well, that way, otherwise, otherwise yeah, most yeah. fish don't give you botulism. But if you really want to uh, have some fun, <laughs> you do this. You want to go open some crackers? Oh, I'm already feeling terrible. Is that free we, have this, purchase? we have this. Uh, this was a gift. These awesome. There it is. Mike Mize is visiting. Oh, that smell. Your house is going to just be the worst smelling place ever. My oh. wife is over there. That's so Hi, gross. Sharon. She does not want, oh. Oh. Does not want to play along with us. Okay, so this is the... Uh, That's the good stuff. This is the good stuff. This is the kippered... Oh. Kippered... Um, Sharon, dear, would you skits. mind getting paper towels? I think yeah, we're going to need some napkins. I didn't realize what a mess this was. Oh, our house is going to smell like... It already, oh, I, my, I'm turning inside. My stomach is turning. So, do you guys like canned fish? I've never had canned fish. It's one of those I've things that like a bit. My mom's a big canned fish fan. So, really? Yeah, she likes sardines and what? stuff along those lines. All right, pass the crackers down. My my grandpa Al used to sit on the couch with a can of sardines and the old rollback stuff. Yeah, and and like saltines, which we have. Or crackers, or um, or pretzels, mm-hmm. and, and put sardines on those things. So oh, I like your little knife. Oh yeah, I got I got real right. real sterling silverware. So here's the only rule: huh? you don't Ooh. take no tiny tasting. You're gonna do this. Do you're it. gonna load up a cracker and you're gonna shove it down. That's what we're gonna be. <laughs> we're gonna get the full effect. Oh my god! Oh. Down there. Who made that rule? <laughs> Why is it green? That's, uh, that's okay. That's just natural a color. natural color of botulism. There you go. Wow. 
And this is the good one. There it is, right there. Beautiful. Natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got a jack. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I feel sick. I thought you liked all kinds of fish. I do, but I am afraid of a lot of things too. Hugo, we went ice fishing with Hugo. He just tears these things open and just eats them out of the Yeah, I'm not, I'm not too worried about fish, especially smoked fish, but. But it's going to be good. I think these will be good. Yeah. Because they smell yeah, you smoky. Guys, we're going to just count down and do them, or we're going to just eat them. Yeah, let's do them like shooters. All right. <laughs> oh, Vinny really Vinny, smiled. Vinny's not joking yeah. around. Yeah. You ready? Well, he went for a double. All right. All right. Well, three, two. That's good. That's super good. Smoky, yeah. salty. Mm -hmm. Not too salty, though. Mm -mm. No bones. No bones. Yeah. All right. Wow. Does anybody know what a kipper is? A kipper would be a herring. Why do they call them kippers? Who's going to buy herring? <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. Kippers. <laughs> Dave's asking, do we have the poison control number? <laughs> we yeah. live in North Conway, and we don't have poison control. It's on the fridge, but nobody puts stuff on the fridge anymore. Mm -hmm. Memorial's right down the road. So the ingredients in that one were just wood, smoke, herring, and salt. Oh, herring. Duh. Herring. See? All right. Good. So that actually totally good. I would eat that. Uh, you're going to have to because you have a lot in your house after tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feed them to the... Anybody, any bear hunters want to come near my house? Um, All right. There's going to be bear lined up. All right. So, so we went Lily White on that one. Very anti-cult culture. Why don't we go deep? On the other how, side. How deep? I'm thinking... Um, Squid deep or boiled mackerel? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Something can't. <laughs> I guess maybe a sardine of some sort. Maybe not that. We can, make, we can do roast fish or maybe eel. Let's do eel. Eels. Yeah, okay. Eel. Yeah. All right. Like before that, let's just... All right. Roast eel. Mm. The, the best part of all this, at least from the Oriental market, is very cheap. Yeah. Everything's like two bucks or buck or... I don't even know how the... Well, standing over a dollar or over two dollars, really. All right. I'm going to let you open that one. <laughs> no, it just spills it to your house. Not my problem. Ah. And it's good till 2019. Have you guys so. have you guys ever had fish for Thanksgiving? No. <laughs> no, me either. And this year, by the way, we also will not. Hey, my wife's with us. Hi, Chris. Mm. Christmas time. Oh, they do. Oh, uh, my gosh. Italian do it. Oh, the, yeah. Yeah, that's that, awesome. that, that smells fish. a little like cat food. Looks, it looks pretty good. <laughs> it looks like cat food. Oh, I see <laughs> bones. Excellent. Oh, I see all kinds of shit. <laughs> oh. Can we cuss? Let me just show you. Can cuss <laughs> I see there it is. Stuff. That does smell like wet dog food. Yeah, it looks and it smells like wet dog food. <laughs> <laughs> it's like smelling a punch in the nose. So this is eel, black pepper, sugar, salt, soy sauce. It's going to be good. Made in Taiwan. Hmm. Yeah. Fish in Taiwan? All right. Yeah, they ate fish in Taiwan. Ooh, oh, that's video. nice. Oh, there are some colors and mm. drippy things. <laughs> that's nice. You got a nice piece in there. Mm. You should be proud of that. Oh God, what kind? I wonder what kind of eel these would be. Uh European, I bet. <laughs> Oriental eel. <laughs> oh, look at that! Doesn't that look delicious? Oh, you want... it smells smoky. Yeah, it smells like peppery. Almost like a bag of jerky. Mmm, bag of jerky. It does a little bit jerky to like. Double. Yeah, load up, Betty, load up. Don't I was be hoping it'd be like jerky. It's more like alive still. It's more like cat food. Yeah, it is cat foody. Mine has a spine in it. Oh, good. It's probably processed enough where. Um, oh, wow. It's like eat the it. spine hole. <laughs> you spine hole. All right. Spine hole. Don't pick at it, Vinny. I think those are all just bones. Yeah, but I bet you it's processed so much you can just eat them. All right. Ready? Yeah, let's go. Eel. Hmm. It's okay. Tastes like nothing. Mm. It's like pepper. Sugar. Like jerky flavors. Mm. I like yeah, it. There's be a lot of beef jerky, but soft and mm. fishy. Not right. too fishy. Wow. I can almost take another bite of that. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. Oh, we'll get a little bite to it, a little spice. Totally good. That's a win. Wow. I know I like eel. I, I do too. Mm -hmm. I might be a convert to canned seafood. 
That was the point. I think that was that the point. Good. I can't remember the whole point. That was the point. Well, there's a restaurant you, you hit me late to that has... Best, salty. Yeah, it serves canned seafood. All right. Oh. Gentlemen, what next? Well, let me tell you. I'm going to give you six reasons to eat sardines. Six. Six, all right. This is from summertomato.com. <laughs> Reason number one, they're good for you. Yeah. Sardines pack an awesome nutritional punch. A single serving has around 23 grams of protein and is loaded with omega-3 fatty acids, calcium, iron, potassium, and only 200 calories. So really good there. Ah, reason number two, remember reason one was they're good for you. Reason two is they aren't bad for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I think uh, in that case, sardines are low on the oceanic food chain, therefore contain low amounts of mercury, oh, PCBs, and that sort of thing. Good. Also, if you look at like... Larger fish take more energy to bake, make, so it makes some sense. Uh, here, three, they're sustainably fished. Right? Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch rates sardines as the best choice. So sardine stocks are once again abundant, healthy, and well-managed. Reason number four, they're affordable. They are dirt cheap, right? What do you for pay the for those? For most part, yeah. I, I don't know what the Trader Joe's ones were, but they were all two, three bucks, I think. Yeah, cheap. And the ones I got at Hannah for, it's like $1.20 or something like that. And then uh, they taste like fish, so there's, <laughs> well, that's there it is. Point. And uh, number five, I've lost reason number five. Oh, six, here we go. Reason number, number six is they are delicious. So. And they make you smarter. Do they make you smarter? Omega-3s mm-hmm. make you smarter, right? Yeah. If you are a single person and you are a sardine eater, they also will keep you single. Yeah, they were guaranteed. <laughs> I, I imagine they could ruin your marriage if you have a bunch of guys over your house eating this kind of food mm. in your kitchen. But um, You already have one that's destined for the couch tonight. We're doing a little experiment on this. I think we're probably all <laughs> destined for the couch tonight. <laughs> all right, so what do we do next? Sardines. Let's okay. go. Hot or smoked? You know what? We did We did some smoky. Let's go hot. Hot or bite, that eel. Yeah. That eel's good. I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right, Trader Joe's wild caught. Sardines and harissa. All right, what is harissa? It's your size fish. Harissa is a, a spice, a Middle Eastern spice, I believe. I don't know if it's any different than me, any other pepper oil. Let me show our live stream those. I mean, that's a lot of Ooh. a lot of juice. Oh, that is. I don't want to spill it on the rug, but no, take a good look at that. It's not my rug. That might linger. You have a do like. <laughs> You almost could do is like a juice box. You get a little straw, and like you're in a pinch, you one? pop a straw on there, like if you're out hiking. Mm-hmm. You need a straw. You need like protein punch. There it is. Harissa, a Tunisian hot chili pepper paste, roasted red peppers, serrano peppers, and chili oil peppers, garlic, saffron, vegetable, or olive oil. Yeah, it's hot sauce, but oily. Mm-hmm. All right, you guys feeling okay still? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Those are... All right, we haven't got to scary things yet. I'm not scared of those cans. I'm scared of these cans. That's what I'm talking about. I actually really like that. So far, my eel is my the top choice. The eel has been my favorite so far. Yeah. I can eat that all day. All right. All right, let's load up. Mm. You already tasted. This is like grown up. <laughs> oh, it's so ooky. I think so far my biggest problem with canned <coughs> fish is how it looks. Yeah, there's either a worm or a spine in this one. Uh, I'm going to go spine. I'll go worm. Oh, it really is. I can't get it out in one piece. Now, if you are a ice fisherman for lake trout, uh, sardines actually make a very good chum. I've lowered a, uh, a can down a string at, with a video camera in front of it, and I dumped it out, and then I've watched... I've watched a lake trout come in and chow down on it. This is on Silver Lake, by the way. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's no lake trout. I, I took There's video one. of it. Yeah, there was two. Eating next to you, like dogs, just mowing down I on the sardines. The only one there. So why weren't we using sardines? Oh, we were jigging. <laughs> they don't stand on a hook. <laughs> you can barely get them on a fork. All right. All right. Sardines and harissa. Harissa. Tunisian pepper oil. Oh. So oh, far. That one's fishy. A little fishier, mm-hmm. yeah. I like it. Well, Definitely spicier. Yeah, there's a little bite, but. I mean, not offensive. No, but it's definitely fish. Yeah, no kidding. Well, sardines somehow fishy are always. Fish. They're much oilier, right? Yeah, they're mm-hmm. way oily, yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah. That really juicy mix you got going on there. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not going to play with that anymore. All right. I don't like that one. Hey, I'm not <laughs> too sore on that. Sorry, Trader Joe's. Yeah. <clears throat> it wasn't terrible. Oh, there it is. There it is. You swallow. Oh, yeah. It's got some bite. It comes back. <laughs> Alright, what's next, you guys? Harissa. Mm. Vinny pick. Do the fried chili oh, sauce yeah. mac. Oh, Vinny. We gotta do it up. Watch we gotta. Yeah. Dollar ninety nine. This must be premium because that's one of the more expensive. Right. This is made by I, I am <laughs> I am brand. I believe nothing. I, I am fish. <laughs> I believe nothing on these. Mm-hmm. Uh, What's in it? Mackerel, palm oil, chili, sugar, water, palm oil, salt, contains fish, product of Malaysia. Mm. Well, nothing says trust like Malaysia. Let's no. go for it. And it has a rooster on the top. Well, it, oh. oh. This was a bad choice. Yeah. Mm. It kind of looks like oh. they just took a can and shoved a whole fish in it before they processed it. It's like just like this fish is, tails. This is really hard. Oh. <laughs> There's a spine. <laughs> oh, which ID was this? Oh, Happy was Thanksgiving, everybody. Vinny, what are you thankful for before you die? Um, thankful for the fish nerds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're thankful. For Do you I have to eat this spine? Not that's that a, you can avoid the spine if you choose. Yeah. That's a big if spine. You're, if you're a big baby. Yeah, that's. Oh, oh. these aren't normal funny. fish parts. This Are they is, even? That's fish? a leg. This is a, <laughs> this is gum. It's got a vein. Oh, because uh, well, it's, oh, it's mackerel. It's mackerel. Oh, that is that is like bricks in there. Yeah, oh, I, I think fried just means they crammed it in the can. This does not. I, look I like, don't want to get it on my skin. It does not look like fried calamari. Mm. No. All right, there's there's the mackerel. There's a lot of, a lot of chewing involved. In Mine this has one, like, like a tag yeah. end. Yeah, we might be working on this for a long time. Does that look delicious? Mm. 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 I am brand with a rooster. Are right, you guys going oh, go for it? Chicken. It smells good, though. Or it could be. What do you think? Spicy. Mm hmm. Chewy. Mm hmm. Rubbery. Mm hmm. It's not too fishy. Mm hmm. No. It tastes like um, like chicken marsala. It's not enough salt to make it like. It's weird. It's like chicken of the sea marsala. Yeah, it's like Indian food wrapped around. Yeah. Oh, the bite comes after you swallow. Yeah, that's got of, some uh, spice to it. And some yeah. fish. Would you describe it as delicious? No. No, me either. Okay, we all agree. Not awful, but no. not delicious. Uh, it's creeping up on awful. Yeah. The little bits of my teeth mm -hmm. are still awful. Mm. <sighs> yeah, not oh. a favorite. Yeah, um, I think I won't go back to that one. <laughs> Thanks, Vinny, for that. All right, want to no up, upgrade? Well, do you want to like take a break and have some prawn crackers? <laughs> well... What's interesting about those is they're the kind you throw in hot oil and they puff. Oh, so they're just for decoration. Yeah, I was going to start whipping them up and frying, but... Yeah, I don't bother. Yeah. Mostly for beer and crab. Beer and crab. <laughs> All right, so we've done... Uh, what have we done so far? We've done herring. We've done sardines. Eel. We've done eel. We've done mackerel. Mackerel. All right. So I'm done... sticking with the eel. The eel was... The eels... Number one so far? In my book. All right. We haven't done anchovies. Did we, oh. did we do anchovies? No. Nope. No, that was sardines. Sardines. So we need an anchovy. Anchovy would be good. Um, so let's figure out the difference between flat filet anchovies and rolled filet anchovies. Mm. We order both up. Yeah. Oh, with capers. I like capers. Oh, capers. Are, oh, oh, these they are, are pretty. literally rolled up. Clay did pretty. And flat means, oh, it looks like bait. <laughs> Here, take oh. a picture of those side by side. 
See, these are the grocery store kind. These are the kind you can get at yeah. any regular grocery store. Yeah. I think they're inoffensive. Are they, I, these are what you might put on pizza. Yeah. Right? Which makes no sense. The rolled ones or the long ones? I think the long ones. But yeah, they go on the pizza usually. Mm -hmm. Or a nice, a nice a Caesar salad. Are you a pizza anchovy guy? Um, uh, I don't I know. These are the capers? Yeah. Yeah, we got to do them both anyway, right? I'm not big on fish on pizza. It makes <clears throat> zero sense to me. I've had. I don't really notice them. They're just salty. They're salty, yeah. I've done smoke, smoked brook trout on pizza. Very good. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, look at those. Those are rolled. You going to roll? rolled? Rolled anchovies. We're right rolling there. them up. I expected a lot more fishy smells. Yeah, yeah. I'm almost disappointed in how tasty everything's been so far. Except for that canned mackerel. <laughs> Except for the mackerel, yeah. All right. I'm starting to sweat a little bit, too. Salty. Mm -hmm. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Holy smokes. That's what I think about when I think of canned fish. Wow. Mm -hmm. How do you get that much salt? Whoa! <gasps> wow. Holy! Wow! Wait. I can feel it crystallizing in my veins. Mm -hmm. These wow. others have MSG, and this oh. just has that's packed in salt. Well, the <laughs> capers, is salt. Oh, capers can be salty, but wow, <laughs> that's unpleasant just because it's so salty. Mm -hmm. And I like salt. Wow. Hmm. Oh. Um. <laughs> yeah, I think those are to me worse than the mackerel. Yeah, that's just too salty. Mm -hmm. We have to eat the flat ones to see if they're any better. Wow, I feel dizzy from that. I wonder if these <laughs> are the kind you're supposed to. Some of them you rinse off, right? Probably. They don't put instructions on them. Oh, they're passing it down to Vinny. All right. Well, people better. people don't eat. Canned seafood because of the looks, that's for sure. Woo. Yeah. That's better, but still salt. Wow. Um, I think anchovies are just bait. I don't think we should eat them again, ever. No. Mm. I, mm. They're fishy and salty. Yeah. And they're probably not even... Oh. Um, when you swallow, it gets worse. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Salt buzz. Yeah, boy. Cool. All right, have a little fish in the news. Take a little break. Give our pal at rest. Do you love fish in the news? I love fish in the news. All right. Uh, fish in the news. So this is from the Daily Beast. Headline is, Bumblebee swears it's tuna is human free. Um, <laughs> so there it is. There you have it. Um, now, if a company has to tell you, an American company has to tell you that their food is human free, and this is not a joke. They actually had to release uh, a press release saying that their tuna was human free. Because last year, a uh, worker got cooked with the tuna, smoked with the tuna, which is less funny now all of a sudden. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me down, Rich. Well, the worker got <laughs> cooked in the tuna. Yeah, after a worker was cooked to death in an oven room, the company insisted it didn't repurpose any human-tainted tuna, salmon, or sardines. But worker safety questions remain. So the guy got cooked, and then they said, oh. Yeah. It was just past 5.30 a.m. when a supervisor approached a tuna basket pusher. <laughs> That's a job. <laughs> And told him to go on break. He hesitated, however, because his fellow fishmonger pal of almost a decade was missing. At first, he thought his 60-year-old friend who worked in the same uh, the same ship, 4 a.m. to 2.30, pushing tin cans to be sterilized for bumblebee foods, was in the bathroom or had taken off early, but he would be dead wrong. Dead wrong. Isn't it funny when people, when, the, when people make fun of dead people? That's he was, what he was pushing the tin cans to be sterilized, which means as long as they went into that room, they're sterile. That's right. We can't get botulism. That's not a chance. Uh, workers began fanning out in search of the missing basket pusher. 
Um, he checked the parking lot and saw that his friend's car had not been moved. An intercom announcement was made Ooh. for him t- and all staffers in the plant and no, no sign of him. After checking the oven room for his co-worker, uh, he finished loading the remaining carts of fish before sealing the front door shut and starting the superheated, pressurized steam cooker. His friend was inside. Oh, Unconsciously, on that pre-dawn doomsday, he was trapped, and he couldn't get out once the large containers were being pushed inside. According to the coroner's report, he apparently was inside the room trying to fix one of a dozen massive 36-foot-long industrial ovens. He and the boiler operator let the oven cool down for a half an hour. Then they opened the oven door, and they found him lying lifeless on the concrete next to his next to his hard hat and disposable mask. Oh, so no OSHA violation. No, no, he has hard hat on and a mask on. He essentially had been cooked in the 270 degree heat for two hours alongside 12,000 pounds of albacore. Yeah, the coroner documented Melania's uh, most agonizing death. Uh, as a direct thermal injury, according to the opt- autopsy. Direct thermal injury means cooked. <laughs> uh, Alive. Yeah. Uh, anyway, they did actually get cited for a bunch of OSHA violations. They had to pay out the family millions of dollars. Um, there is a moral there. Do you know what it is? Don't be a tuna cart pusher. Uh, tuna cart pusher. You know the jobs that most Americans don't want? There's one. Uh, ah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So. Well, fishing news brings us down. Well, I thought I would cheer us up a little bit as we get into eating some more canned food and what else might be in them. Did you guys see the picture? It's a skull in the tuna, and now I don't really want to eat out of the can. Yeah, we don't really need tuna on the table. Did you notice that? Good. You know, can, we didn't, I, I was shopping, I didn't buy canned tuna because it just seemed too oh, yeah. benign. Too basic. But now that we know that, we could be eating the thumb. No. Or, uh, <laughs> or everything. <laughs> All right, what's next? Well, I need another beer. Benny Stern. Oh, oh we're going to take a little beer break. Unless Clay wants to go grab one. Yeah, where is it? They're in the fridge. Yeah. I'll just stay in my corner. What do you want to do next? I picked the last crappy one, so. Let's do something tasty, maybe. Smoked trout. Smoked trout, skinless, and canola oil. Farm raised. Salt smoke canola oil trout blaze. Our vendors follow good manufacturing practices. But it's from Germany. German smoked trout. Why not? Good till that, so, so this trivia from Germany, what kind of oh. trout do you think it is? Um, rainbow. 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 See, at Germany, I would immediately think brown trout. That's where brown trout are native. Way to profile. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I did profile. <laughs> Franken, Franken trout. But these yeah. are beautiful. They, they are very good. pretty. You can take a picture of those. They actually look like um, the fish you catch. The fish I catch that I very rarely Bigger. eat. Wait, they have to have them for some. Oh yeah. They're oh, brand. they're yeah, they're huge. And the show. They're gonna be good. I don't know if anyone's even watching anymore. They gave up on us. Bodie was watching. Oh, there it is. I'm so gonna dump that in the carpet. It's on the table already. The table's open. All right, so smoked. Tri- I didn't say what kind of trout it was. No. Nope. I wonder if it's by tasting it we can tell. Nope. Probably not. Oh, I think that's a big piece. It's not joking around. Wow. Starry base on left. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. I'll go back to you. There it is. Looks beautiful. It actually, does look good. It does Very look shiny. Nice little chunk of fish. It's sperm. Super drippy. Good. It's not heavy on flavor. It's definitely smoky. Mm. I like the consistency. It's got a little punch. Mm-hmm. Not rubbery. Yep. There's not much to say about it. It was kind of okay. Mm-hmm. It's actually a little dry. Yeah. Not um, not my favorite still. No, nope. still the eel. Yeah, should we go a little something a little more interesting? Oh yeah. All right, I, I oh. think we save the squid for last. The squid just kind of looks like 
Here's a squid. <laughs> it's the picture. The picture on the cover. It looks like uh, some looks uncircumcised like, man parts. Yeah, doggy's red rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, taking a look at that. I mean, squid have tentacles and look like squid. Those are just... Yeah. Is it just bodies? Yeah. Uh, who knows? But if I'm doing packaging, I would be like, to my art department, Let's try I would say, how about no? How about you can do Let's better? Let's try again. I don't think they care. Well... I, I'm, uh, they're all used for just parts of main dishes. We, we got to do this sometime. Why Let's do it. One of these macro. Well, you have those two macros, and this one's probably pretty good. The Trader Joe's yeah. macro, right? And these might be the same, but one, a canned macro pike. I Which is the macro pike? I just can't figure out. What, these were two seventy nine for a oh. big can. Well, that must be the good stuff. Probably heads in it. Oh, oh that's not good. <sighs> Oh, those are whole fish. <laughs> are they really? They're pretty big. <laughs> Headless. Oh, I don't like that. That's kitty litter food. <laughs> what are we doing? That smells like after the cat <laughs> ate it. Yeah, it's scary. Ooh, it's like a stew of things that you don't want. I don't feel good already. Oh, oh God, it looks just like bait. I mean, just like cut bait. when you go to the jetty and you cut your mackerel and you leave it there in the sun for three hours. Oh, it's yeah. still got fin on it. Oh. These might have to get cut. Or... No, you got to put it on your cracker. No. I think no. <laughs> Take a picture of it on your cracker. I don't like that. Make that go away. There's a spine <laughs> down there, too, isn't there? There's always a spine. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your cracker? Oh. There you go. <laughs> That's really bad. There's no left, is there? Damn it. <laughs> no, not the big one. Not the big one. Oh. Uh, Perfect. That's not even food. That is slimy. <laughs> Seal food. Oh. Do you eat the spine and everything? Yeah, you just bite right in it. Well, I don't know, because I was the macro intrigues me because I don't want to eat bait. I, mackerel is really delicious. I had fried mackerel over the summer. Yeah, it's fantastic. Fried. This is oil. I've had it grilled. Um, most of the world's eating mackerel. Um, Not out of this the, can, though. It's all the left. I'm afraid of this need one. two crackers for that one, Clay. Uh, gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, yours looks just like a dead fish <laughs> on a plate. That is cut bait. All right, so we don't have to eat the whole you thing. Got to eat, No. Oh, gotta take a reasonably good bite. Oh my god. I'll take a picture of any bite in that. I need that picture. There's like <laughs> a really? lot of spine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, from <laughs> what? It's a mushy. Yeah. Oh. It's not like the chili sauce one. Oh, geez, there are so many parts. Oh, it's so gross. Look at that. Mm. It's a fishing line to use to snag it. The poop line. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> Don't puke on my floor. That's the recycling. <laughs> you got recycling you go. that one. Clay's currently vomiting, sort of. No, nah, he's just spinning it out. Uh, oh, I hate that. <laughs> God, yeah. if, if hell was a flavor... It's There's that. nothing good about that. Oh, it tastes... Oh. Look at that spine. It tastes just like it just like it looks. Oh, like someone threw fish in a can for no reason. Like it was left on a jetty all day. Oh, look at that. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't... <laughs> it's still gross. Take a picture of that. That's a fail. Oh. I was supposed to... Yeah, that one. Oh. God. I thought it said it was distributed by Dogtown, but it's gone <laughs> down. But uh, that is big loser. Big fail. The and worst. that was mackerel pike. Yeah, that, that was the, officially the worst thing I put in my body. Oh, I still have some uh, on my plate. Uh, There's a discard plate over here. <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> All right. Oh. Crackers to cover that. That so let's go a little uh, easier. This yeah, time. we definitely need to take it easy. Let's, let's see if it stops a few minutes here. 
You got some. You got some facts. Yeah, hang on a second. I I lost my my notes got out of order getting out of the car. Bear with me for a second, but I'd be curious who or what. Um, I think Hugo said he loves these, and he's Portuguese. Yep. Yeah, I don't know if he would love those. Hugo's got good <laughs> he taste. He likes seafood, canned seafood. He that, does. Of normalness. But I always wondered what, if this is a big popular thing in certain cultures, or these are just like what you eat when you don't have a lot of money. I think it goes into bigger dishes. All right. I lost the first page of these notes. Because fish sauce is great. You put a few dabs of fish sauce in anything, it brings life to it. But Like this stuff on rice? It might be good. This on nothing. This, on this could be on. Catch you a fish. This could be on money and not be good. Yeah, All right, so nice. I went on the internet and uh, got a list of canned fish you should avoid at all costs. And this is from RodalesOrganicLife.com. Uh, number one list: uh, uh, anything called uh, pike mackerel you should avoid, <laughs> unless <laughs> boiled to. Mushy completion. Mm. Yeah, so anyway, just in case you weren't with us a minute ago, we just ate this. This little bit of hell. This is a pike <laughs> mackerel We're from Malaysia, sure. which is uh, just to the... When you go to hell, and then you just kind of go east just a little bit. Um, terrible, terrible country uh, with horrible people in it who put fish in cans that should never be put in cans. I now have a prejudice. My first prejudice. I, I've actually usually... Am, Welcoming and accepting of all people, but our culture in this country has changed. I don't have to be anymore, and uh, I now don't like Malaysian fish packers. Well, that's from Korea. Oh, never mind. I take it back. I love Malaysia. It's, it's probably North Korea. I don't, I don't know, know who to dislike. I'm just kidding. I like everybody. I just don't like that thing. Oh. Vinny's ripping into some more crackers. Yeah, you need them. All right, so foods you should avoid. Four canned fish you should avoid. Right, number one. Uh, canned shrimp. Oh. Yep. Avoid canned shrimp. What? Uh, it's fraught with ethical health and environmental problems it's more fraught. than tuna. It's fraught with ethics? Yeah. <laughs> with a farm shrimp being the most absolute worst offender. A recent piece of Mother Jones give us a litany of reasons to shun anything other than wild caught shrimp, including abhorrent treatment of workers in the Asian shrimp trade. So what do you got there? Shrimp. Oh, cool. Let's do that. Minced prawns in spices. Minced prawns. And where's it from? Um, doo -doo, that's a language I don't understand. Uh, Thailand for export only. Oh, so you know it's the good stuff. Only the good stuff. So you know that uh, people were dying to make this for us, and therefore we know it's going to be extra good because it has the tier of slaves in it. That's well, a terrible thing. Don't to they say. go in? They go into. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna skim over. Well, uh, remind me in the edit to delete because that it's line. Actually, it's actually true. <laughs> oh, that's funny when it's true. I saw it on Vice. They put people in the like pay for room and board, and yeah. they, they have to fish for their room and board, and they can never get ahead. And uh, it's it's not it's just a, just a notch above slavery, and it's. It's terrible, and we are contributing our dollar. How much? Dollar forty-eight. Dollar forty-eight too. Oh, we got another person joining our live stream. Lycan. Hi, Lycan. Says Clay, I miss you. Let's hang out, and I'll buy you genuine Canadian keppers. Oh, uh, so someone that knows something about real. Yeah, and I like it to my neighbor anyway, Ooh. so we can walk right down. Do that. Whoa. Oh. Oh, and let's just kind of take a look at this. If you thought yeah, anything no. we ate previously looked like cat food, this take is... a look at that. Mmm. That's minced shrimp, which means we don't know that any shrimp is actually in there at all. No, but there's other good stuff. Oh, there. I feel terrible. There's prawn, 18%. <laughs> Water, onion, garlic, soybean oil, peanut, lemongrass, chili, sugar, cornstarch, MSG, salt, and paprika color. Oh, paprika color. And it contains prawn. They, they couldn't, like, spring for paprika. No. I got my little fork here. Oh, people eat this on purpose? Like, this is a real thing? Oh, oh, oh. oh, Vinny, oh. this is like God. <laughs> oh. oh, so so for those listening, imagine. Oh, this is. Scary. Oh, I that don't like that. <laughs> imagine cat food after the oh. cat eats it and then leaves it on your couch two hours later. Oh. Uh huh. That's oh, bad. I don't like that. <laughs> All right, you guys. Uh, this is minced shrimp from Thailand. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. 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 It has like flavors you would want, but not in the right place. No. There's nothing good about that. <laughs> nothing. No, there's no, nothing good coming out of that oh, that's, can. That's baby poop. You okay, Vinny? Nope, I always use this one. <laughs> <laughs> We've but lost Vinny. We've lost Rich. <laughs> oh. I'm no, still with I, you. It's okay. I stomached mine down. Mm. Uh, I, that was not as bad as the mackerel to me, but it, it was ranking wow. pretty high on the bad list. I'm just imagining what your farts are going to smell like later. That's why I have to sleep on the couch. I don't usually think about your farts, but this is one of those meals where... Um... All right, hey, the second uh, food we should be avoiding is uh, some canned crabs. Uh <laughs> Seachoice.org tells us number one indicator that a crab you're com- contemplating might be a poor choice is in its name. If the crab is labeled such as swimmer crab or a swimming crab or blue swimmer crab, jumbo lump crab, or blackfin lump crab, you'll need to do some further investigation. Most crab get that one down. <laughs> under the <laughs> aforementioned names comes from Asia, where the wow. crab industry and fishing methods are very <laughs> loosely regulated. If they're regulated at all. Uh, Trawl methods and gill nets are often employed, leading to devastating bycatch and other marine creatures. And there are almost no management practices in place to ensure a stable crab population. Wow. What is that? That's crab. Is it minced? It's minced crab and spices. It's minced crab. I hate you. Yeah, that's like... That texture just killed me. <laughs> I don't know that was more texture you, than I don't know if I do two minced things you want to in a row. I just said great intro on crab. Huh? Yeah, you well, well, open it. Let's do it's it. It's an environmental. Um, oh. mm-hmm. What do you need to be on the outside? Do you, you want a straw? Or... <laughs> no, I don't want a straw. This would oh. be better because it's crab. They should call it crab smoothie. Because oh. that would be a better descriptor. Maybe it's supposed to be heave up. You want to? Oh, no. They look exactly the same. <laughs> It is the same. Nope. <laughs> it's not different. All right, I'm gonna do just a tiny taste, just to ensure. It's kind of jelloey. It is gelatinous. I'm not doing that. Oh. Is there a rule? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Vinny, fire. Fired. You have to, you're you're gonna to vote you off the island. Have some then. Fine. Put <laughs> a clear line to the trash can. We can clear. Oh god, I'm not doing a big bite like last time. I'm, I'm gonna wish. Oh god. Clean my fork off. I don't want to. You know, cross contamination. Because that might be good. Uh, probably not. No, I know. I just got to tell myself that. that. I don't think that's as bad. It looks... You stir it? Oh, yeah. Um, make sure you stir it up. You yeah. got to get all the stuff from the, the bottom. <laughs> that's not as bad. That texture killed me on that other one. And the flavor. Oh, it ain't that bad. <laughs> oh, man. The other one had little nuggets of... <laughs> it's, um, it's a nightmare. Not only is it as bad... Yeah. You don't think it's bad? Mm-mm. No. Oh, I can swallow that one. It's got a little... Uh, the other one mm, I could have. I just need to take a nap. Oh, I don't, I don't know if I won anymore. <laughs> I'm starting to twitch. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we've done far better than we nine, thought we'd do. Ten. I, I think we pushed through. Mm-hmm. I don't know All right. They, um, Let's um, talk about another thing we should not eat. And then eat it. And then eat it. Um, Some canned salmon. We don't have canned salmon here, do we? No, salmon is canned. There's no denying that salmon is a powerhouse when it comes to the healthiest fish. And while many people find it difficult to afford, if it's fine, the fresh wild-caught sockeye were were told to seek out. Canned salmon is in... in, Sorry. Canned salmon used in salmon cakes, salads, seafood stews, and pastas. According to Berkeley Wellness, almost all canned salmon is wild-caught, but not all of it is. So a little label reading in is, is in order. So uh, basically, say if it's wild salmon, it's good for you. If it's not, don't bother. I know, but how can, <coughs> we, how can we have enough wild salmon to keep going after? That's the part I don't get. I think it has to do with the damage that salmon farms do environmentally. Yeah, which is terrible. Which is terrible. So you're better off with the wild. And if, if they would focus on moving dams and making wild passages, we'd have plenty of wild salmon. It's just we we interviewed uh, Mark Titus last year, who made the movie The Breach. And he made a very strong case for only eating wild salmon yeah. and keeping rivers clear and open. So, There's prawns in there. <laughs> <laughs> you want a clean plate? No, it's fine. Okay, boy. I just don't want to eat that prawn. Yeah, because Minced prawn. It's like the lake trout, and I was reading about why lake trout don't taste good. It was something to do with the water and 
And if you put them in fresh water for a week or so, it goes away. Yeah, the depth taste. that there is. is and they, that's what they do with canned or, or uh, farm-raised salmon. They taste salmon? awful until you put them in fresh water. So that's why it's another environmental nightmare because they have to take them and dump them in fresh water just to get. Mean, and you say fresh, like salt to fresh. Like you. Oh, like new. new water. Okay. Like you know, they live in their pen of filth, and then they take them out and they clean them up. They give them a little shine. So. Yeah, I've seen uh, fish pens out in the Pacific Northwest where there's there's black salmon out in the Pacific Ocean and there's dead water under the pens because they just keep them in one place and the fish just poop all in one spot and just kill everything right there. Toxic so. fish. God, I feel terrible. Yeah. What are we eating next? Oh, I don't know. Roast Go fish? Limit. Roast fish? Yeah, that was, that was the brand that was pretty good. This looks like um, buffalo tenders. And it's a very pretty purple fish called the Black Scraper. Black Scraper. Maybe I'll have Doc Martin do a little bit of reporting on Black Scrapers for us. Yeah. Roast fish. They keep it simple. Now, this is the same company that gave us the, uh, the delicious, eel, which we really delicious liked. Eel. The problem is I don't fish, feel no. good anymore. <laughs> like, I don't even know if good fish is going to be good. <laughs> I think Cleanse I'm your getting, palate with some whiskey. I think I'm getting it. some hives. <laughs> oh, swelling up a bit. Looks like General it, Tso's. It, 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 it General Tso's fish. Ooh. Mmm. I don't know if I like that. I don't like the smell of it. I know. I'm going lumpy. <laughs> going lumpy. She's oh. lumpy. Too slow. No. Clay won't <sighs> let us play music in our. I don't have to pay any royalties. You can oh, sing. I didn't even think about the royalties. Yeah, I thought it was to mess up the audio. No, no, I, I'll mess up the audio. We've already done that. This looks interesting. <laughs> so this stinks. This is the worst smelling one so far. No. And look, it's a very pretty. The black. It doesn't smell like anything. They are pretty. Nice not someone, purple the container. conservation status not evaluated. So you know what that means. That means free not, for all. Yeah, go nuts. Yeah. I mean, some people don't usually eat these things. Ooh, uh, I don't. I'm, I already don't feel good. They look like little cat turds. <clears throat> mm. All right. Oh, no cracker. Baller. You ain't cracker free. You need to cover. Oh, up. dude, they're not right. Oh no, no. It's like sugar. Yeah, but the texture. Yeah. Um, that one. So, we've all lost one now. That oh. is sweet. Yeah. Oddly sweet. Yeah. Not good. Yeah, but it's flaky. And... Oh. There is sugar. Yep. Oh, I don't like that. Yeah. The fish, sugar, soy sauce. Oh, no. That's... Oh. All right, let's take a break and do a promo. It's like candy fish. We're going to take a quick break. I and, like the and... flavor on the outside. And, and do a promo here because we need to give our taste buds a rest. It's November. It's National Novel Writers Month. And the Fish Nerds, we're going to crowdsource a book this month. Mm-hmm. We're asking all listeners and correspondents to write down a 300 to whatever thousand word story you want to write about your uh, best fishing adventure, near death fishing experience, or one that you could have killed someone, or a fish that almost killed you, or any kind of adventure based fishing story. When we get 20 or 30 of these together, we'll put out an ebook, and you guys get to call yourself published authors. The amazing near death fishing story. You don't have one? I do. You do? What is I do. it? Let's hear it. Give us a, give us a summary. Surf casting, New Smyrna Beach, came up, a school of bluefish got real close, and sharks were on the prow. Were you in the water? I was waist deep, got nice. knocked over by but, a shark. Really? What shark. kind of shark? I don't know. I was scared. <laughs> you didn't idea? I didn't idea. Great ate white. A, ate a bluefish right in front of me and so turned blood in the and water. me with the tail. God. And I went down and out. Oh, that's fast. A, that's amazing. That's a great story. Yeah. That would be a perfect one for this book. And when we get 20 or 30 of them together, we'll put out an ebook, and everyone in it will get a free uh, copy of it. And um, if we make any money on it, we'll, we'll talk oh, about money. getting some swag and things like that. But I... I don't know if it would be a big money maker for us, but it would be cool to have one out there. And we've been trying to get Fish Nerds books out for a long time. So if you have a story, email clay at fishnerds.com. Uh, the amazing James will edit it for us, and we'll put it out in nice, a nice little book. And if you're a terrible writer, 
and you want to record it for us, like on your iPhone, and, and email it to us, that also works, and I will transcribe it and edit it and make it look like a story you wrote, and you can still pretend you wrote it, but I'll be your ghostwriter. So, Clay at Fishners.com, help us with National Novel Writers Month. And we know it's not technically a novel, so, you know, stop telling me that, Kristen. <laughs> and we know Clay doesn't have enough to do at home, so make it really rough. Yeah, you know, make no. the edits really... No, The Amazing James is editing, oh, and, oh. and he definitely has nothing to do but make balloon animals. So. Oh, all right. Yeah, you know that's why he's called The Amazing James? No, I never knew. <laughs> yeah. He wanted to, when he first came on the show, he wanted to be called Ranger James... And uh, and I Googled him, and it turns out that he's a balloon animal making expert, and he and he goes to birthday parties under the amazing James as his. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah. So and, and I did that because you don't get to pick your own nickname, right? So right. I mean, that's, he can't yeah. be Ranger James. He's got to be the amazing James. So that's there's, a given. There's, there's got to be embarrassing. But, yeah. Huh. Well, if you're out there, amazing James, watching, you should do a balloon animal. Yeah, let's see it. You should do a balloon eel. I could do a blue meal. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think what, what I've eaten. I might do a blue sea lives. snake, a blue eel. <laughs> a lamprey. Yeah, my lamprey. I'm an expert. I can make three perfect balloon mm. animals. Balloon worms. Different kinds of eels. More yeah. eel. So. What's next? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about this table was built by a local guy named Toby. Mm-hmm. I forget his last name. Lives in the valley. He would be rolling over in his... Well, his bed probably right about now. If he saw all this fish oil on his beautiful hardwood, I table. bet the oil won't hurt it. It, it won't hurt. Rub it, it right in, and it will actually make it prettier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we use tongue oil. Yep. I think all we've right. lost all of our live audience. We bored them. Looks like you eat yak. Yeah. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Beach cliff fish steaks, bite size herring, and hot sauce. That's gonna be good. That'll be good. This is a bumblebee food. This oh, is like this might have food. people in there. There might be people in there. They probably stop using the name bumblebee once the people start getting in their food. Mm-hmm. So it's fascinating how neatly they stack all the little parts. It must be, I mean, that is amazing how, yeah. How do they do that? They must do it before they cook them, right? Because Yeah, they, yeah. I think they cook all this in a can. Or as, as the thing says, sterilize. <laughs> it didn't really say cook, did it? 270 degrees. That's all you need. There's a lot of random parts in there just floating around. Spiny things. Okay. But I feel terrible. About what? Just my body feels <laughs> terrible. My hand doesn't feel that bad. Oh, there's no, a oh! Sure. backbone in that one. <laughs> it's always a backbone. I know, but it gave me the kind of hoogie boogies. Oh, that's good. Finny's loading up on that one. Oh, See, it's good, though. I'll load it up. Yeah. Good texture. Can't be worse than a pond. No, there's huh? nothing like... I don't think they're called fish steaks. Oh, because they're like... Because you know, the way they're cut. Prawn, you cut a swordfish. Yeah. You know, it's funny. For something packed in hot sauce, it doesn't have a lot of bite. Oh. There it is. I you swallow. It's a so, sleeper. Herring is good. Herring is totally good fish. Mackerel? And the can? No good. So far, not a win. I'm not eating the boiled mackerel today. No. Mm -mm. The way I figure... The (laughs) the way I figure we have room for two more fish before we die or hurt each other. This is wild caught, though. This is um, sustainable. Yeah, go for it. You can eat it. That's all you. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know what? Why don't we mail this to a listener? (laughs) As a gift? Yeah. Uh, If you want this can of... uh, Boiled mackerel and a fish nerd decal. Uh, leave us a, a review on uh, fish nerds and iTunes. Send me a little link, and the first person who does that uh, can have a can of boiled mackerel and a fish nerds decal. What I love about these cans is the opening is on the bottom, World not on the sick. top, so all the juice is there. And that way, when you do this and you open it, it all marinates down. So there. Where do the spines go? The spines stay right in the middle where they belong so you can eat them. So, won't that be great? Mmm. <clears throat> the worst prize ever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, we running out of steam? We got Running out of steam. I say we need to do one good one, and then we don't know if the last one's going to be good enough. But I think we need to end on the uh, squid. Squid. I really want to try them in tomato sauce just because... Is that mackerel? 
Sardines. Sardines in tomato sauce. I saw that a lot. All right. Salty tomatoes. Yeah, so I mean, salt and tomatoes can't be bad. Yeah. Right? And then we'll do a little recap on our top and worst. <laughs> and then all of our yeah. wonderful friends who made these seafoods will send us money for a sponsorship. You know, it seems highly unlikely that any seafood company is going to sponsor us who cans food. <laughs> oh my god, that is not, uh, that's mackerel. What did you think this was? It's a sardines. Like yeah. The other side's in English. That's not a sardine. It's a lump of... That's di- mackerel. That's a lump of gross. Look, the can says sardines. Looking at the fish on there, those are mackerel. Looking at the fish on Rich's plate, that's mackerel. Oh, that looks like... I'm going to just watch you eat it. Right. I can't do another mackerel. I can. Oh. It's just kind of like splits down the middle when you put it on the cracker. Yeah, it's, it's, kind of, it's like butter. There's no... Oh. Sardines are small, right? <laughs> How is it? Could be worse. Could be a prawn. <coughs> Minced prawn. It's not really that bad. It's going back like, for more. Yeah, I may be all... God, I just don't feel it. I'm so afraid of it. Like my That's eyes just my eyes are watering just thinking about eating it. And I'm getting that like extra saliva in your mouth you get when you're about to vomit. Yeah, oh yeah. You know, like you just you can buy anticipating terror. It's kind of kind of got some wang with the tomato sauce. Uh, I didn't think tomato sauce and fish. You know that feeling you get when you're making up a lie and you're getting caught and you know it and you just keep going? <laughs> like that's the feeling this food's giving me. I smell oh, that's terrible. <laughs> No, I don't like it right anymore. It's not bad. Mm. As a yeah, I like other that. mackerel. Yeah, I'm, I, I don't want to hang out with you guys ever again. Mm. Wow. Well, you know, we're losing steam here. And we're starting to feel really bad about ourselves and each other. So, so we're going to open tip, up squid. Yeah, so we're going to open up the uncircumcised squid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see what's in there. This gives a whole new mood to the word cocktail weenies. Oh, oh, oh my God. Dude, that's nothing like the package. Oh, for there's sure. eyes. Oh. No, but they're just like little baby heads. Oh, get a picture of that. That's so gross. No. <laughs> I wonder if that's what they this meant. Is such a, oh, that's such a bad idea. Yeah, this oh, is like the calamari it's like legion. So, uh, <laughs> what doesn't make it to the Italian restaurant? So on the can, it's a picture of what's not in the can. <laughs> it's like the photo on the can is that. And then the photo on the cracker, it's a head <laughs> photo on the cracker. All right, let's, let's make sure we all have one before you eat it. and we gotta, This is the big finale. Oh, wait, there's a body. Oh, oh. oh this is like... No! <laughs> no! <laughs> That's Clay's. <laughs> This is like that game with the claw you drop oh, in your chin and what you pull oh, so oh! Don't touch them. What's that? That's an eyeball. Oh, they smell terrible. People eat these on purpose. Oh! There's their little squid parts. Oh, it's in ink. It's too. in ink. Oh, I got a whole... It's going to stain your table. Yeah. Oh. oh. I can't get it off the fork. I don't want to touch it. Oh! Ah, oh, look at that. Oh, no, I almost lost it. <laughs> Look at that nightmare on a cracker. <laughs> oh, don't smell it. I smell so cat pretty. Oh. oh. Ew. It's on my fingers. I did have calamari for lunch today. Yeah, um, I feel awful. I feel... Right, I'm going to eat just the head. I'm going to have a Did you take a picture of this thing on your cracker? No, I don't think Oh, it smells so bad. <laughs> Wait a bit. Let's get it with some reasonable background here. Hang on. Can we go there's maybe, the album cover. Right maybe there. we can. Oh, there's an eye there. Wait. Let me get that full. Now we were talking about eating canned fish. Oh, this is not fish. No. Oh. Is it a cephalopod? What is it? What is another cephalopod? Octopus. What is another one? 
Uh, is that all there is? No. Oh, no. There's all kinds, of, <laughs> all kinds of like uh, Nautiluses and that sort of thing. Uh, all right. Cheers. Calamari. Oh, it's chewy. It's as bad as you think. Oh, it tastes like cat pee. Oh. Oh. It tastes nothing like cal- <laughs> calamari. <laughs> I'm gonna swallow it. Oh my god. Oh. That was oddly crumpling. This just looks like. Uh, More chop bait. Rubber Cut bands. Bait. Oh, this what is, is the, What is that? This is the worst. This is a rat. It's got a rat tail. This is the worst episode we've ever made. I regret this, Joyce. Oh, that was nasty. I don't think the oh. dogs would eat that. Mm-mm. Dogs, would you eat squid? That took a minute to get down. All right. Any um, let's kind of talk through what we've done. <coughs> All right. Let's take what it take it down. Me? Break down our top choices. I'm gonna have to shower. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So we ate, let's 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 first of all do a count of how many cans of seafood we've eaten here. Okay. Line them all up. Pretty. Line them up here. And, uh, oh, that was a terrible mistake. I hate this show. I hate the fish nerds. I don't like you guys anymore. I don't like whiskey anymore. Oh, oh there's the eel. That the eel was good. The dogs are extremely interested in whatever we're doing. Yeah, no. And it's either because they're dogs or it smells good. Wow. <sighs> you don't want to look that late. You do that. Oh. The eel doesn't taste as good. <laughs> <laughs> You've broken your taste buds? All right. So let's kind of break it down. We can that picture. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the worst one. That right is there. the worst. Oh. Don't get any on my hat. <laughs> Looks like a new hat. It is a new hat. I should have brought you over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's 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 remember we do an audio show here. So just looking at things and pointing and laughing is not right. Not working. All right. So I think we've tried. Let's kind of go down the list. We did. Let's start with the anchovies. Not our, we Small. did flat fillet anchovies and rolled filleted anchovies. Thoughts on those two? They're small and extremely salty. Really salty. You'd use those if you're making something and you want a little bit of salt flavor in a big dish. One tiny anchovy would do your whole dish, right? And I think that's what they do with Caesar salad, right? They crush so, one or two up yep. and make a paste. And so yep. good for flavoring, not for eating. Right. And then we did the main herring, right? Yeah, the kippers. The kippers. We went all natural smoked wild kippers from Maine, from Bahaba. And they were good. They're totally edible, although I can't eat one right now. (laughs) Oh, yeah, they don't look as good now. Nothing looks good now. Uh, We did the the eel. The eel, right? That's the winner in my book, right? Totally delicious, right? Try it now. Jerky. All right, I'm going to try it now. See if it's still delicious. It's got some sweet, it's got some chewy. Mm hmm. No, I'm good. I'm full. Yep, not now. Uh-uh. <laughs> not good anymore. We've broken our taste buds. Um, and then we did... <laughs> not now. We did three Lady Cooks sardines in tomato sauce. Uh, it was a little bit of hell in tomato sauce. Which was mackerel, and they lie. Yep. And totally. three Lady Chefs. Yep, lie. three Lady Liars. And then we have... Oh. Oh. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. Um... Mm-hmm. <laughs> we've got uh, still some spine yeah we've got spine filled uh, what do we call this Pike. macro pike and this this is no different than a macro left on a rock uh, at the beach <laughs> it's um, funny you buy that you buy mackerel at a bait shop and it's nicely you know frozen packed looks it's better than that. I would be so happy to eat a, a frozen mackerel from a bait shop over this uh, and then we force the anything mint you know is a nightmare but um We've got minced spiced crab and minced spiced prawns. Should add neither one of those are actually a fish. 
uh, arthropods, and they are absolutely horrifying. I can't even smell it. Brady's <laughs> <laughs> having a hard time. We look just we, like cat We food. did fried mackerel and chili sauce. That wasn't too I bad. don't remember. It was like the rest only. They all got the same yeah. after a minute. Chewy. They do kind of all the roast chewy roast fish. That, that was is a sugary, nasty one. Black yeah. scraper. That one really freaked me out because I think these are little baby minnows. Yeah, I'm sure of it. It's yeah. a, each one's a whole fish, and then it's German smoked trout, totally fine. Didn't yeah, taste like good. much, right? Little brown trout, probably. I'm guessing. Sardines and harissa. That wasn't bad. Harissa, either. not terrible. Although it's funny, everything was so bad, you forget the good ones. I know. I was like, boy, that trout was tasty. Yeah. And then the um, the fish sticks, right? Steaks. In Louisiana hot sauce. And these were... Um, Those were okay. Yeah, what were they? They were fine. What, what, what are they? They were nothing like Louisiana hot sauce. They were just inoffensive. Oh, herring. It was herring. Uh, and then finally, the worst thing I've ever put in my body <laughs> <coughs> would be the squid. California squid in natural ink. Mm. California Two words. Mm. Not to be confused with California. Um, absolutely terrible. And anything packed in ink, you know, um, is bad. Totally bad. It's so any color since it's set out. Any uh, final thoughts, guys, on tonight? I don't know. I, 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 the end eel is good. Yeah. That's I, my final I'll, thought. You got any final thoughts? I'm trying, but... My body's not real happy. Yeah, mine isn't either. I think we need to do our next tasting has to be beers with fish in the name. Yeah. <laughs> that would be very refreshing. Yeah, I think we earned it. So our next tasting is going to be, you know, like Sculp and Ale and Dogfish mm. IPA and joy mm. and pleasure and happiness and warmth and pleasantness. Maybe our Christmas special. Yeah. I, I think if you had one, one certain brand that you knew was good consistently and you did something sandwich cracker maybe with some cheese you'd probably be okay but this is not the the right way to do it all right well let's close this show down so we can go and die and uh <laughs> you guys we have some script to read here okay <laughs> so that's it you've listened to a few fish nerds when you should have been fishing and you definitely should have been fishing today we'd like to thank our families for blank oh. us <laughs> 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 this is this is mad lips oh 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 yeah. All right. I used to have the word supporting in there, start but somehow I didn't freak out. We'd yeah. like to thank our families, especially our wonderful, lovely wife who let us trash their entire kitchen here with a <laughs> fish um, to allow us to podcast, go on fishing quests, and do all sorts of silly things that nerds do. If you would like to support the Fish Nerds, you can go to patreon.com and search for the Fish Nerds and help us crowdfund this podcast so we can bring you this terrific entertainment. Yeah, this, this, uh, incidentally, this, this food was not paid for by Patreon Rich Pay for all this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. And until next time, follow the code of the Fish Nerds. Spawn early, spawn off. Special thanks to Rich Collins. Uh, Rich, thank you for buying all this horrible food. And Vinny, thanks for. I'm just hanging out and yeah. doing it with us. <laughs> oh, you didn't? Okay. Oh, here. Then, it's uh, mine. Yeah. Avoid free lunches with strings attached. And swim against the current every chance you get. Uh, let's not ever do this again. No. Never. Yeah, although we challenge all of Fish Nerds fans to do it, like a YouTube video and tag us in it, and we would happily watch it. And but, eat grosser things than we can find. I'm sure the wildlife outside is going to have a nice snack tonight. Yeah, we are a bear country. <laughs> we chased a bear away from the coop tonight. Did you really? Yeah, but the chickens were all in the trees. They weren't in the coop. Yeah. Is that recording device done? Yeah, I'm going to say goodbye here. Um, yeah, my neighbor had a bear jump up on his deck and like attack his bird.